Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to give a five minute overview of Camo GPT. Okay, so I get asked a whole lot, what type of resources can you use for AI in the military? And the answer is, there's not a lot right now, but I want to go over Camo GPT, so let's jump right in. This is the slick sheet for Camo GPT. So shout out to, for being in a joint environment where someone told me about this awesome resource. What is Camo GPT? Well, if you've heard of ChatGPT, it's just this, but for the army. Great news is it doesn't matter what service you're in, you can use this, and I'm a testament to that as an Air Force officer. It is a large language model. If you hear LLM, that's all it means. It means that you're, it's going to generate information by taking a lot of this language, a lot of it's going to scrape a lot of data and then give its best guess on what it thinks you want. Remember that this is never going to be 100% accurate. So if you are trying to create something perfect for your boss, we want to be very mindful that you still need to review this. This whole concept is that we're trying to partner humans with machines and see what humans do better and what machines do better. This one pager, if you'd like it, what I will do is I will put some instructions in the chat for you to sign up for um, my little newsletter. And in that next newsletter, I will be actually sending out this slick sheet. If not, you can also send me an email and my information is down there as well. But your account creation, you're going to go to this website. You'll log in. It'll ask you a couple of questions. Make sure that if you are looking for the classified version on Zipper that you click that as well. You have to verify your military email address. And then after that, it'll take 24 hours for your nipper to be created. And then from there, about 48 hours for your zipper. So really pretty uh, quick process. There is an email address if you kind of get stuck on there as well. So I'm going to switch over now to what Camo GPT looks like. This is the home page. And if you have seen ChatGPT, it's pretty similar. What you'll see is you can do these different prompts. By far, my favorite thing about Camo GPT as opposed to Nipper GPT is that I can upload documents. So here I am, I'm gonna go upload a document. I am working on a project right now called the 3E cohort. So you'll see this little exclamation file and what it's gonna do is just verify that what I've done is I put only a classified document in there. I'm gonna identify that this is English. I can put the file name, I can put a description if I want, but I'm just gonna verify that. Press upload. And now it has that information. It'll take a minute to do so. And then what I want you to think about when you're working with any type of GPT is that it's like you're working with a project on someone or someone with a project and you are sitting there trying to talk with them and give them context. So you say, hey, you know, uh, my coworker and I are developing a slideshow project called three cohort and we're just we're just going through here we're just giving a little bit of context right and i'm gonna say give me some talking points and it will quickly generate that information and i haven't been very specific on how i want the talking points and so it has made some guesses on what i want it sort of said, well, maybe the three E stands for three E, these different E's of encourage, equip, evolve. And so it's giving me those insights. But if I go, well, I want it to be broken down by each slide, I would say, well, break down these concepts per slide. Because think about it. Remember how we will create a PowerPoint presentation and then six months later, we can't remember what we said. Well, we can use those notes section and here you go this has done this so it's now made this adjustment and i'm looking through this this is looking pretty good it's got the information and then i realized you know what this is still almost a little bit too short so i want it to be longer um and i need to make sure i, I don't think i've told it my audience so i'm going to say make this longer and at an executive level and when i do that it's going to make a couple of changes. Of course, I can go way further with this. I can give it more documents. I can give it examples of speeches or other areas. But the whole concept of this is that I'm getting to go back and forth on Camo GPT and I'm going to get some good information and some good insights. 
last thing I'll show you is once again, this is just a quick overview. I will definitely go in more in depth. And so what I want you to be thinking about as you're watching this is what questions do you have? You know, what prompts do you want to see on Camo GPT? Or, you know, where are you stuck and, and where would you like to learn more about some type of tool? Uh, but the last question I'm going to ask it is what questions would senior leaders ask about this presentation? And all that's doing is helping me to brainstorm and think through, okay, well, as we're presenting this, can we think ahead? Can we think about, um, I may have a blind spot. I may really think this is a great project, but they don't. And so if I can answer those questions or if I can have those questions ready to go when they ask me, then that way I'm not quite as thrown off. It's a, it's a pretty good way to, to brainstorm and think through that. So I really would recommend if you have not checked out Camo GPT to make an account and please once again put in the chat things that you'd like to see, you'd like to know how you can use this because GPTs are great. Large language models are fantastic, but they're not for everything. So it's good for us to learn and figure out when we use it and when we should rely on something else.